In this video, I'm going to show you how to beat every zone in the entire game by using the play Flood out of the Gun Bunch formation. You can find this in several different formations throughout Madden 23. And again, this is going to be one of the better plays in the game this year. So um, why Flood is so good is because it just simply floods the zones. It puts them in a position where they can't defend everything. And we're going to use this as a really strong horizontal stretch on the defense. So we're going to come out in the play Flood. Ideally, you want to actually have your bunch to the wide side of the field, but you can actually run this with your bunch to the short side. Um, and then again, real quick, before we go too far into the video, I do want to let you know if you want to get all of my eBooks for Madden 23, offensive eBooks, defensive eBooks, we're dropping everything over at our Patreon. The link is in the description to sign up for that. 10 bucks gets you access to absolutely everything over there. So how are we going to set this play up? Well, what I like to do with this is we're going to wheel the running back. This is going to force them to have to man him up. Um, this wheel route is really good this year. Um, it just works, okay? That's just the bottom line. You could put him on an out route. The out route, honestly, is not as good as it was last year. Uh, so that's just something to note. And then we're going to hitch our, um, our outside receiver here, uh, circle. Okay, so as you can see, this is what the player looks like. At the snap of the ball, our first read is always to the flat. If we can th if we can throw that for four yards, we will take that every time. Madden 23, the pressure gets on you so fast, you have to be willing to take the check downs when they are available. What this is going to force our opponent to do is to shade his coverage down out of this, out of this play. And then what you're going to see is I'm going to now be able to high point this out route over the top of that hard flat keeps it away from the defender and gets it right to our um, our main actual route on this concept. Now this is going to force them to have a hard flat and a cloud flat to be able to defend that. They're gonna have to double flat the bunch side. And so now what we're gonna be able to do, this is also helping us with the pass rush problem because they're having to drop defenders into zones as they continue down this progression. And then what you're going to see is I'm gonna be able to just simply take my hitch um, as you can see, they still haven't completely fixed low balls, but I'm going to simply be able to take my hitch. And I'll show you that real quickly here uh, with the double flat on that side. And then obviously they have to take, they have to maintain some level of protection over the middle of the field as well. But what you're going to see with this hitch is you're just not going to pass leader. You're just going to throw the hitch. Do not low ball the hitch, at least until it gets patched. Hopefully it gets patched soon. Uh, but that is the beauty of this concept. Now, the other thing that I want to show you about this is if they double flat on the bunch side this is going to mean that they are potentially playing some semblance of this coverage on the back side of the defense so what we can do um in madden 23 this is something that exists they the, the cloud flats they just don't play as good um in my opinion and what you're going to see here is i can actually high point this and aggressive catch it over the vertical hook sometimes so that's something to think about but another thing that we want to be able to do is if we look to the right and we see that our our, our uh, reads are bagged, they're going to have to literally sit on the hitch with this linebacker. That's how they're going to have to guard this. So what this is going to give us the ability to do is it's going to give us the ability to either hit our wheel later in the play. And I'll show you that that throw right here, pass lead that to the outside. As you can see, that's going to get in a nice little window against the cover two defense. Or um, if they have a double flat on that side, which is very likely um, for them to do, and I'll show you what that looks like here, where they're going to have a double flat on the both sides here. Now the whole middle of the field is open, and the benefit of this is our dig route should be wide open over the middle. I love to high point and aggressive catch that. I think it's one of the best ways to throw that route, but that is a great way for you to be able to attack the cover two now the cover two is the most underneath zone in the game so if we go to a cover three for example they're going to kind of be in the same basic predicament we're high lowing them in the flat and we're high lowing them over the middle of the field so we can take our little quick in route or a quick hitch one of the other things that i want to show you really quick about the hitch route just for fun and we'll do this uh we'll show you that this works against cover four shade coverage underneath but what makes the hitch, um, one other cool thing you could do with this hitch, um, this used to be a thing in Madden, you can actually high point it, and occasionally you'll be able to aggressive it, even if there is somebody there. So you can high point hitch routes this year, um, and that's one of the, I think, hidden features um, in Madden 23, just because of how effective high ball streaks are, but they're also effective for your check down routes to kind of put them in a position. See how I can aggressive catch that, and then I can turn up field and get about seven, eight yards. So I love to high ball my hitches, um, specifically against man to man. So anyways, that is the basics of how you're going to beat every single zone in Madden 23, just with a simple uh, high-low concepts all over the place with this play. That's why I personally really, really like it. Please don't sleep on that out route. It's one of the best routes, most important routes in this formation. If you want to learn more about this stuff, make sure that you're in our Patreon. We're going to be dropping eBooks 
all week long teaching you the ins and outs of how to run the best offenses, the best defenses in Madden 23 complete breakdowns. I'm taking my ebook game up a ton this year. More content, not only more content, but more in depth so that you guys can really understand the little things that make a big difference. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link is down in the description below.